Okay, today we're out installing a steam humidifier. We're taking out the old uh, fan powered, carrier fan powered. And we're putting in the April Air steam. We have a guest appearance today from uh, Brandon again, the humidifier guru. And uh, yeah, we're going to mount that 800 right here. Going to move our UV light over to the other side. And we're going to put the steam right up in here. So, and I got to run a circuit. Got to get into the panel here. Gonna run it. Put our double pole here. And uh, we'll take you along through the progression of installing this humidifier. Okay, we got our new uh, breaker in there. Double pole. We're running to. Uh, we're running 240. Um, let's see. Got our power coming across. And then we come across down here. We got to get that strapped up. We have a service switch here. 220 service switch. We got our uh, steam pipe coming up out of the unit to the side of the unit there. That's how it looks mounted. So we got to run to Home Depot, get a 220 switch, and then uh, we got to put our core stat in, Wi-Fi, and uh, we'll run some wire for that. We're going to bring it down over there, across the line set, and down to the unit. So he'll have Wi-Fi, and I'll have his humidity controlled from upstairs. I'm going to run a water line. Water line's going to come back. From that point up there, across the top, down to the bottom. Here, and then I'm going to have a PVC drain off the bottom. Underneath the ductwork, and we're going to reconfigure over here. So we already have about, I don't know, two hours into this little project. So very time consuming, you know, when you got to run a circuit. But that's where we're at right now, so we gotta go run to Home Depot, get a switch, and get back and take care of it. Okay. Um, got our steam pipe on here. It goes up there. Now we got our uh, 220 volt switch. We're running 220 volts because of the demand of. Uh, the uh, steam because we can run this unit on three different voltages we can run it 120 208 and 240 and it depends on where you have your your line here on what voltage you're running so we're running 240 okay I got my 10 wire coming in here right here actually I could have ran could have ran 12 wire but I thought the amperage was a little different but I thought it was above 20 so but if we look in the manual let's get somewhere where I can look in the manual here gallons per day 16 gallons 20 25 gallons 20 35 gallons okay and with the electrical there it is so this thing pulls a lot of amperage um, we can set it up to 100, 208, or 240 volt. Uh, maximum steam capacity per day. It'll steam off. Uh, at 120 volts is 11.5. At 240, it's 23. So my house is really around 5,200. So I'm running 16 amps. So I'm going to be at 240. I'm going to be at 
34 6 a day up to 6,000 square feet so I fall right in between these two so I should be really good so the, this is one thing you really got to keep in mind when you're installing a steam humidifier yes you can run it at 120 volts but you're not gonna get I mean you can run 120 volts 2500 1500 square foot house but you know you should probably run 240 volts it's gonna be a little more efficient and you'll get more capacity okay so we do have our water line ran there's a water line coming in the bottom up the top over there okay like I said our steam our electric I did put a new circuit in I don't know I probably already showed you this already we did run it in the top there there's our new circuit here and we're right in the middle of putting the stat on so one thing keep in mind <clears throat> Is that this board does when it's on here's your humidistat terminals it does provide 24 volts <clears throat> so you cannot hook it up to hold on a second here it does provide 24 volts so I cannot tie this to that control board on the furnace I just did shut it off because it came on. Yeah, I just tracked it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where we're at right now. So I gotta run my thermostat wire down to this point and I'll show you how to hook this up. I'm gonna use this relay to actually separate my voltage. So <clears throat> I'm gonna take my normal connection and put it to the humidifier terminal on the board, which is back there. Right back there. And then, since the thermostat is going to tell it when to humidify, I'll take a common wire and um, one wire off that humidifier terminal, and I'll run it down to this relay. And then, what we'll do is once this relay closes, um, then I'll send. I'll have two wire running back from the humidifier to my open contacts here then once that the coil closes it's going to close contacts turn the humidifier on <clears throat> I'll show you how to wire that up all right we got our low voltage wire here now this provides 24 volts so you can't apply it to the furnace power so I had to put in a relay Here's my relay. This is coming from the humidifier on a normally open circuit. This is coming down from my thermostat, and this is my common up on the board. When the thermostat energizes the relay, close the contacts, and then the humidifier will start steaming. I couldn't hook it up to the humidifier terminal, that provides 24 volts. Uh, we're almost finished here. Um, Brandon right now is uh, taking care of refitting the drain, repitching it. Um, because actually the darn drain goes uphill, so we got to repitch the pipe. Um, we're going to run this PVC across up here and to the bottom of the unit. <coughs> so basically we're almost done and this is how many hours we got in this so far five. we're five hours in two guys plus we had to change uh, change that stat upstairs so man had to make a trip to Home Depot so we're kind of five hours in right now not an easy chore something you don't buy off the internet and try to install yourself as you can see this is a professionally installed unit is up to code all my wiring is grounded I mean that's a 220 switch 
It's not a 110 switch, it's a 220 switch since I'm running 220 power. So I'm going to kind of get this thing buttoned up. He's going to finish up the drain and uh, we'll go upstairs to the new core stat. Okay, we're going to set this core stat up. Uh, we're going to do the walkthrough. Okay. My thermostat is up, preferences, blah, blah, blah. Okay, next. Uh, shoot. Reach only. Thermostat connected. Why two? I gotta change that. It's gotta go to Y one. Hold on. Okay, I was looking at it wrong, but the highlighted ones, that's where it's connected, so we're good. Accessory, are there any accessory wires? Yes. Okay, the accessory control power. Same power as the thermostat, that would be yes. Accessory type, ventilator, humidifier. Okay, so it's running the humidifier. And that's what we have, single stage furnace, single stage AC, and humidifier, yes. Okay, now we're into preferences. And this would be my home. And we're in Fahrenheit. This is ideal temperature for home, okay. This, okay. Network connections. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do that right now. Set up Wi Fi connection at later time. Go to settings, Wi Fi. Okay, next. Okay, we're in the United States. Uh, we're in Detroit. And I don't even know what time it is 4 39. And are we the 21st? No, we're the 23rd of 16. 23rd, 16. Okay. And link to portal. Next. Next. Done. Okay. What we got to do is we got to get the Wi Fi set up and then we'll have all of our. Uh, what you want to call it, we'll have all our weather and we can control it from the phone. Okay, we are done. Got my nice literature holder up here. Put all my stuff in instead of having it screwed to the actual ductwork. Um, there's our steam beam off fire. We are running right now. Stat upstairs is controlling. Oh, yeah, we're hot nice and hot so we are steaming right now um, fans uh, thermostats calling for humidity upstairs it will humidify with just the fan alone so fans running we're steaming and we're done there's our drain we had to repitch the drain a little put a cork pad under it but uh yeah that's it for this uh Oh, we had to relocate that light too. <clears throat> don't ask me, I don't know about that. I did not install it. So um, that's it for this one. Um, this is an April Air 800 install um, steam humidifier. And uh, yeah, this came out really good. Really good. All right, guys, like and subscribe. And uh, see you on the next one.